like her. Cheeky nod. I like her. Cheeky nod. Did we get one? Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> See, he's riding without a t-shirt. He's loving the weather. Yeah, he's living the dream. That's yeah. until, he, yeah, until he falls off. That's the thing though, when you when you nod to like other bikers and stuff, yeah, you just, I don't know, I just find that if, if they don't nod back, you just feel like a bit of a knob. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It happens to me all the time. That's why I get so excited when someone nods back. As soon as they pass, we're like, yes. I just find you give them like a little, just one of these, just a, a little micro nod, and if yeah. they nod back, then you give them Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Cheeky. Cheeky nod. No. Oh, oh, fuck you. Oh my, no, I, get, I went all in with that one. <laughs> no. Do you see what I mean? Some people are just fucking miserable. Oh, oh, oh. Here, here we go, go, here we go, here we go. All right, we can do this. One, let's go. Nice okay. clean nod. Yeah, go on. Yay! Yay! Oh, it was a 125 though. And it was on a 125. Right, we should probably welcome everybody to chat to the video, actually. So welcome everybody. It's uh, it's good you're here. I hope you're sitting comfortably with your beer and your peanuts or whatever it is you're eating and drinking. So this basically is vlog number one, possibly of one. Depending yeah. on yeah. <laughs> it depends very much on how it's received and whether we can be bothered to do another one basically. because uh, this has taken this is what's this attempt number four? I think the third or fourth attempt now. We've been sort of cut, perfecting this as we go. So this is attempt number three or four, I think. Yeah, fingers crossed everything's going well so far, you know. All the previous ones have hit the cutting room floor because we've watched them back and there were just issues and problems. So yeah, basically about a thousand pounds worth of recording equipment later. I think we're about here now. So, so yeah, I figured we do this as a, a replying to comments video. We'll start with that. That's a nice easy, that's a nice easy topic. All right, so first question comes from, I'm going to call him Johnny Strawman. He, he says, he said, if we didn't all have regs, the people who make regs would have to go out and get a proper job. Um, you are absolutely right. Um, I know I, I know I mock regs a little bit, but um, they are important, if that makes I, I mock them because some of them I just think are nonsense, but on the most on the most part we do need regs they are there to to help everybody um, but yeah some of them i just think are complete bollocks right what's going on here hang on really you stopped there are you fucking for real my <laughs> i mean it's a very it's a very nice view but really you're holding up traffic just to take a photograph oh wow i just see uh, all the people lined up in traffic just nodding yeah, their heads they're basically all doing that <laughs> Uh, yeah, so regs are important, but at the same time, I think some of them are total bollocks, if I'm honest. Next question, Gary Broadbent, please stop doing jump cuts. I can't help it, all right, because I have this problem that I repeat myself. It basically means that that man there has to cut out all, all of my fucking rambling nonsense. Yeah, I get people are a bit thing about this whole jump cut business, but there's not a huge amount I could do. And also, if you do like, you know, if you don't have them, the video would end up being 30 minutes long. You've got to have them, you know? And anyway, if you, even if you were not to try do any jump cuts, you'd bloody have to have a script and learn a script to just fluently breeze through. Exactly, I'd rather whole... just do it naturally and yeah. it just however it comes out, it's, it's, that's how it comes out. Exactly, yeah. All right, uh, look at me now. He basically says something, I can't read it now, but he basically says something along the lines of you're a knob for charging extra to, to fit capping. I'm not charging extra to fit capping. And yes, capping isn't a requirement, but I'm sorry, I'm still a bit... Fucking hell, what was that? What the fuck? <laughs> I saw that it hit your GoPro and then it hit you. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. I don't even know what that was, a leaf or so, I don't know. Yeah, basically, I don't charge extra for fitting capping. It's not like it's an additional item on a quote. It's just that I have to think that it looks neater. Once you've done a job and it's all put, you know, everything's all neatly run down the wall in capping, you know, I can guarantee what happened is you'll get in your van and go, and the customers always do it. They always go in after you've done a job and they look at what you've done. And if you've done it nice and neatly and capping, I think it just makes a good impression, personally. That's just, you don't have to do it. You can just clip it straight down the wall and just dot and dab straight over it. But it's just, I don't know, for me, I think it just leaves a good impression that you actually gave a shit to do it. And there was actually somebody else. John Dufton basically said exactly the same thing, but he said it in a slightly harsher way. Um, so I've responded in, the, in that image accordingly. After I just put a picture of a knob on that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just put a picture of a knob on it. Yeah, it's not that you're charging extra. It's just that you give a shit. That's, the, in my opinion, that's all it is. Are you talking about that? That metal thing that you uh, cover the wires with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, you yeah. don't have, you don't have to fit it. It's just yeah, but I, I honestly think it looks nicer. Yeah, yeah it just I looks nicer. You, yeah. It looks smarter. Once you've finished the job and you've walked away, the customer will look at it and just go, oh, it's, you know, it's, it's a neat job. All right, next comment is from Dino. Dino says, um, I think it's something along the lines of, again, I can't read it, but it's something that runs along the lines of, do you enjoy being a spark? Because I've tried domestic work and I think it's shit. I don't know. I think I, it depends how you look at it. And it depends what, because don't forget, it depends what you charge. I know some people say, some people, there's this sort of fallacy that's going around online that domestic work you can't charge good money for. You can charge good money for it. And it's not that you're ripping the customer off. You're just charging, as I've said this before, you're just charging fairly for what you do. That's all it is. If you're charging fairly, it's, you know, it's natural that you want to, you'll, you'll naturally enjoy the job more, you know? If a problem comes up, you're just like, oh, it doesn't matter, you know, because you've, you've allocated it in your, in your price. You're charging accordingly for the work that you're doing. Because so many people don't charge enough and then they get to site and then you get this thing of, you know, ah, oh, fuck, I haven't, you know, I haven't charged enough and you're in a hurry and it, it, you t it takes all of the enjoyment out of, out of what could be a nice job, so. And the amount of times when you go and you don't, like you mentioned in the previous video, where, you know, you go to a job and then you start picking away. Yeah, and then yeah, all yeah. of a sudden there's more and more exactly. and more, and yeah, more yeah, things yeah. that start creeping up. So yeah, for me, it depends how you look at it. If you charge correctly, it's a, you know, I like it. It's a nice job. I, I don't mind it at all. It's just, charging is the biggest thing. It's just getting your fig, just getting your charger. I'm not saying I get it right every time, because I don't. I've done many a job where I've undercharged it. I've, I've just, I've fucked up my price. But it's just, I don't know. That's how I see it anyway. Six and a half hours later. We haven't really broken any speed limits all day. We've, ah, oh, mate, your mic's unplugged. This, this, this could be an issue. Hang on, let's pull in. Oh, mate. Nobed here hasn't plugged his fucking mic in. <laughs> Day two. Joey Williams asked, what's the girl's job? Right, the girl you're referring to is Laura. She's not in the content all that often because she basically does... Should we go around here? Should I nip around? Yeah, we can yeah. squeeze through that, yeah. Oh, I was just, okay, I was just going to go around this way. Uh, yeah, Laura is the admin. She's the office admin. You don't see her very much, but I am trying to make an effort to get her out into the field a bit more, but it's uh, obviously that negates from her job, so... Should we go behind the moped? Yeah, yeah go on, intimidate him. <laughs> <laughs> one on the left, one on the left. Oh, look, 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 look. He's already yeah, intimidated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look pal. <laughs> Alright, Rambeer says your channel is fucking addictive. Well, that's good. But I think there might be a small percentage of people who disagree with you there. But I'm glad you like it. Actually, there's a Lloyd's up here. Do you think we can stop? I've got a load of checks in my backpack. I've got to pay in. Yeah, <laughs> no worries. <laughs> might as well combine this vlog. We're going to the bank quickly. What do you think of Camden? I like it. It's a bit sort of alternative. Yeah, it's di uh, it is different, but I love it. I actually like it a lot. That's what I love about London, though. Like, you go into different areas and it's just... You get a total different, different atmosphere. Vibe, yeah, wherever total you go. Total different vibe. Yeah, exactly. I uh, think this is the place, if you've got like a third breast or something, <laughs> or you've got like blue hair or something, this is where you live. Yeah, exactly. And like people totally accept you for it, you know? Yeah. But it's kind of quirky and cool, I like it. Uh -huh. Yeah, and once, in one spot, just down the road there, there's like literally every every next shot is a tattoo a, place, a, tattoo a piercing yeah, place, yeah, yeah. whatever. Ah, there's a Lloyd's right here. Do you think we can squeeze into that box up there? Yeah, we might be able to. Yeah? Yeah, there's a Lloyd's there. Here, check it here. Okay. Now. A few inches later. Mm, you're gonna have to go around me, Honda Civic or Honda Jazz, whatever you are. <laughs> Left or right? Oh no. <laughs> Did she die on you? Come on, she's there. We're there. Oh, okay. I have my side stand down, fucking knob. Uh, That's when you look like a total fucking novice with your side stand down and you put it in first gear. <laughs> I've been there many a time. I wouldn't mind, I just did that in front of a bus stop full of people as well. Look, I'm not. <laughs> James Fraser says the top secret location looks like Pornhub HQ. I wish it was, mate. I <laughs> you and me both, mate, I wish. And that's Camden, everybody. Fucking heaving. Saturdays, it is just bouncing there. Yeah. Yeah. That looks busy as hell. Yen Sabi writes, he says, uh, what was wrong? That's a point. What was wrong with the picture quality last time? Everybody was saying it was in 720. But I'm sure when I uploaded it, it was in 1080. I don't know what... I don't understand what that yeah, was. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I reckon it might have been because I, I read the comments as well. There's only a few people, and it was uh, people who watched it early on. I so think maybe yeah. maybe it was when because when you upload, yeah, yeah, it takes some time before it processes and then lets you watch it in the highest resolution that you've uploaded a video in. 
So that might have been the issue. They watched it too early and the only available resolution was 720. I know when you upload it, like you say, straight away, it, like if you watch it literally when you upload it, it's like it's 360. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just a really low resolution. Fucking hell, it's busy here. Oh yeah. And then up there, everybody, is Camden Market, and that is just bouncing up there. Oh my God, yeah. AG Engineering, he writes, Thomas Nigel, you are the Nigella Lawson of the electrical world. Um, I mean, I think the Nigella, you know Nigella Lawson? Oh, she's Never like that, of her. she's like that hot, sort of sultry chef. No, I don't, I don't think I've ever heard, no. Uh, she was... More <laughs> What did the guy say that he... She said, he basically says, I'm the Nigella Lawson of the electrical world. I'm cool with that. That's absolutely fine. Don't worry. I want to be fine. complaining. Yeah, I'm not complaining because <laughs> Nigella Lawson, she's hot. Nigella Lawson, then subscribe. All right, down here. Ah, oh, that was it. Uh, I can't remember the name of the person now, but they were saying, um, is there some sort of running beef between you and DSS? Uh, no, I'm not aware of one. Uh, I know he took the piss a little bit in his last video about that whole TLC business, but I'm not... I'm not aware of a beef. Um, I've never even met the guy. Um, I know he does a bit of stuff with um, Gary over at Tresham, but that's pretty much all I know, really. Um, I've never met the fella, but he seems nice enough. He, you know, but I've certainly got no. I've not got a beef with him. Not. Well, I'm not aware of one. If anything, it probably was a little bit of just uh, friendly banter, YouTube electrician banter. Yeah, I think, it was just, I think that was just cross-channel banter. Yeah, cross-channel banter, I don't, yeah. I don't think he was taking a piss unless he was sort of telling me to, you know, read between the lines <laughs> sort of thing. You know, I don't, I don't think he was. I think it was just cross-channel banter. Okay, King Chaos, he says, <laughs> lol, all of those parking tickets. I get them every day, mate. I'm really, I'm so bored of them. But in some, some cases, it's cheaper to get a ticket it than really actually is. pay for the it's, You just accept parking. the fact, yeah. You just get, you know, 100 quid's worth of parking tickets a day and you just, you just bill it to the client. There's no other, you know. Some people are saying that that's like really unethical and you shouldn't be doing that. But why should, why should I pay for it? You know what I mean? If a customer wants something done, then they, they have to pay for your, your time to do it. Okay, charging uh, 11.3 volts, nice and low, good. Really, the charging system on this is just fucked. I don't know what's wrong with it. I should know, I'm an electrician. <laughs> <laughs> One would say, innit? Yeah. <laughs> you should bloody know, Tom. I don't do 12 volt, this is auto electric, <laughs> don't do that. Oh, do we get a nod? Should we get, get a big nod? Big nod. Nothing. Oh. Yeah, oh, nothing. <laughs> it's a scooter, dude. That's why, man. Yeah, but some scooters are really, they really go out their way to do it. He didn't. He looked quite unhappy, actually. Right. I'm going to sneak up the outside. Cheeky. I'm going through the middle. Fuck it. I'm going to risk it. Ooh. Risk it for a biscuit. Oi. That's actually not that tight. Aqua Home Service. Building, decorating, cleaning. We're plugging. You're plugging it for free, mate. Yeah, I'm plugging nah, it for nah, free. Nah. <laughs> All right, so that, that's vlog. That's that's vlog one, basically, of possibly of many, but I don't know. We'll see how we get on. So I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Leave your thoughts in the description, what you think of it, if you want to see more or less. Um, and otherwise, we'll see you on another video. Ciao for now.